Hello. Okay. Today, I want to piggyback off of Amanda Zed's video that I watched yesterday where she talked about her top three favorites in every category. Now, I can't do that um, because I have no idea, not a clue. <laughs> and that's what I've been trying to do these past couple of weeks is figure out what my favorites are in many things. I mean, I have an idea in a few categories, but other than that, I haven't a clue. I haven't tried nearly as many products as Amanda has. So in that respect, my uh, choices tend to be limited. But from the, the, from the products that I have tried and am using and continue to try, I still don't know. Part of that is due to the fact that I have very poor memory because and therefore it makes it difficult for me to know unless I use it and use it and use it and use it and use it. Another thing I do have to do is get back to my spreadsheet. It's been a year since I've looked at my spreadsheet and it's probably all worthless by now. I've, I've probably repl replaced everything. Um, if not everything, almost everything. So I, I need to get back to my spreadsheet and that's just laziness on my part. So what I can tell you, I usually start with my brows. No, I lied. I usually start with primer. Um, I put my VDL on because the little VDL I have is mostly like a moisturizer. It I don't find it does anything for uh, texture or anything like that. I'm getting pimples. And my pores are getting bigger. Either I'm just looking harder. <laughs> but I don't find it does anything for my pores or anything like that. So, one product that was number one on Amanda's list of favorites I actually have and I've never used it yet and it's the Bobbi Brown base I've never opened it because I wanted to stay fresh so here we go I got a mini which was a lot more economical than buying the big one so let us smells nice it's got a bit of a citrusy scent and I didn't want to put my finger in it and I forgot to bring a spatula okay so let's see now Amanda was ranting and raving about this and I don't see people using it anymore on the internets like this time last year everybody was using it and now the only one I see using it like granted I don't watch 500 different influencers but still I watch a fair few and uh, okay okay and it's very very moisturizing I'm trying to kill some time here so that it can sink in a little bit so Another product that she rants and raves about, uh, I'm not going to use it for priming, but I wanted to show you, and it's this, which is the Physician's Formula, the Essence of Healthy Toner and Setting Spray. Now, I can't get this in Canada. I have to order this from the U.S. Uh, I have not tried it yet, but I will try it after I've done my makeup and she swears by this. I think this was number two on her list. I can't remember the whole list, but this was number one for sure. And I think this was number two. So I've got two, yay me. At this stage, this is where I would do my brows. 
Now, right now, I am trying to finish this. I got this from my ZC box, and this is the second, this is the refill, and I'm almost done. I find it a little waxy and hard, but it's not so bad. I just get little flakes because of the waxiness. And last year, because, because I was on BoxyCharm for two and a half years, I accumulated a lot of stuff. <laughs> Hence the Project Pan that I did last year and am continuing this year. And I had a crap ton of bra products. A lot. And I was going through them like water. There is one bra product that I did not get from BoxyCharm, but I got on my own because I, I love the brand and I started using the brand when it came to Canada, and that's It Cosmetics. And it took me like at least six months, if not more than that, to finish the brow pencil, and that's the Brow Power. I have not opened this one yet because I wanted to finish the rest of my pencils. This is an ama amazing, amazing pencil. Absolutely amazing. Easy to use. It looks like it doesn't have very much. Maybe they decrease how much they put in. I don't know. All I know is that the last one that I used lasted forever. And it's got a great spoolie that does not come off because I ended up losing this and it went through the ringer and I still had it. So I've got that one that I'm trying to finish. I've got a Rowan that I bought from BoxyCharm that I want to try because I know that Lauren May swears by the Rowan brow pencils. And then the rest of what I have is gels. Love this. So, Rowan first, then this. Now, I also have this from It Cosmetics. As you can see, it's been used and abused. It's finally starting to get to the end. I think I started this March, maybe? Because I went through uh, my Essence and my Elf very quickly. And I, this is starting to have nothing left in it and I'm scraping the sides so at least you get your money's worth out of IT Cosmetics. Okay, next foundation. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this quickly or at the very least skip it for you guys. <laughs> Her first foundation yeah Shiseido Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting foundation. And it's because of her that I bought it. So for me, she's an absolute influencer. Okay, this is one pump. Let, let's see what one pump does for me in this. I don't think this one pump's going to do my whole face, but like, I mean, look, this is, what color do I have? 150 lace. 150 lace. Which is funny because her darkest when she's tanned is 140 and she's like five shades lighter than I am. <laughs> Foundation I have found is really really nice. It is right up there as one of my favorites. Yeah no this is not gonna do a full face. I think I need just half a pump if not just a quarter pump. Either that or put too much on. If I have to put powder on because I'm looking sweaty or whatnot, I really like the ZC powder. And I get the feeling that the Moira powder is just like it. But I went on the Moira website because I was, I have like, why do I look like a ghost on camera? And in, in this multiverse, I don't. Okay, so I've got like five or six websites open right now 
to see what to buy with my very meager budget for the month. And I was putting stuff in my Moira basket and a lot of the prices have gone up. I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm, 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 this, same with ColourPop. Prices have gone up like crazy on ColourPop. I don't know about the US, but Canadian version, they have gone up like crazy. And uh, I'm not happy about that. Other than the fact that I look pasty white, whoops, maybe that's a little too much. Look at my skin. Maybe the light's too high. That's a bit better. Look at how flawless my skin looks. It's not sitting on the baby hairs on my face. I've had foundations do that and I'm like, I pushed you in, why aren't you on the skin? <laughs> it's just, absolutely, don't look at my black eyes. <laughs> Sleep is just not a thing. Um, I was going to say it doesn't creep into my crevices, but there it did. But it doesn't look like it's doing it on my forehead. I got to stop doing that because that makes it cakey. All the, the red is covered up. And this is a medium coverage. And yet it's covered up all my red veiny little nasty spots. Whoops. Wrong way. <laughs> I still look pasty. All right. Love this. Okay. Now, I've got a choice of two bronzers. Oh, still have. But they are from the same brand. And that is the LYS powder and the LYS cream. Now, this was difficult because it's like, okay, do I take the Persona or do I take this one? Because I really like the Persona as well. Um... But I love these two. Absolutely love these two. But I'm going to be using the powder because the rest of everything is going to be powder. <laughs> and I just didn't want to have to deal with any contentious issues. So here we go with the powder. I did not want to put up my Marc Jacobs powder as a favorite because I have no idea what's going on with Marc Jacobs. So, here we go. And I, I have to go to the drugstore and I really don't feel like going out. <laughs> I don't wanna. But this, this LYS bronzer is absolutely gorgeous. But the Natasha Denona one also is gorgeous. But it's a cream. At least the one I have is cream. So that's my dilemma. What do I love? Do I I love creams. But powder has a look to it that is more ethereal than creams as far as I'm concerned. Creams are essential in summer. They they, they just creams in summer are synonymous. It's it's just they go hand in hand. <laughs> I don't know why. This is just how my brain sees it. I still look pasty white. I don't know why I do that because my nose is quite thin to begin with. There's a brush hair. Yeah, my pores here are looking fairly filled in. Here, not so much because that's old age, so it's crevices. <laughs> but here and on my nose, they're looking very filled in. And I'm happy about that. So LYS is a love, an absolute love. Now, I've discovered the Clinique mm -hmm. Pops, but I also love this and I've been using this in my palettes but I 
also have to use like look how pretty that is that is so demure and pretty and then today is actually cool but that's very much a summer color okay so I do love the Clinique cheek pops I really finally discovered a gem so I'm going to use my Charlotte because it needs to be used and I've put too much on my brush I'm willing to bet Look at that. Look, look, look. Can, can, can you see that? <laughs> it's beautiful. Oh, I did it again. I love this. This is a definite love. I forgot. <laughs> this, I'm trying a different way. This, as far as I'm concerned, we shall confirm today is the one concealer that does not crease my crinkles. Okay, I'm going to stop with the obsessing over my crinkles. And I definitely need a, a different color. I really, really, really do. I don't know which one. I've got the High Blush in Peach Gasm. And I've got the Beauty Light Wand in 2 Medium. This just calls it a highlighter. Oh, there's still some on there. We'll be back. I wish I could get my hands on the Flower Beauty ones. I have one that is supposed to be a dupe uh, from uh, Revolution Beauty, but it's the lighter of the pinks. I didn't get the dark one. They're $20 for heaven's sakes. I have discovered a love of cream shadows. My battery's already about to die. I have the Luxaza ones, which are phenomenal. They haven't paid me to say this. I did get this for free from them, but I'm not getting paid to say they're phenomenal. But they are phenomenal. Okay. Their liquid ones are phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Luxaza has done it. I wish, I wish, I wish. Like, this, this is one set of a color story. I wish I could get two more sets of a color story. This is one of the shiny ones. They have a lot more. Luxaza, can I get two more, please? <laughs> I like these two. 
the Clinique ones. The Clinique ones, before I washed my face the other day when I had them on, they were still sparkly. Do you know how many lose their shine? These didn't. Laura Mercier by Terry. <laughs> you know, it's, it's like, I can't get enough of them. I, I really, I can't. I have discovered a love of cream shadows. And as I use one to do a base, because I'm going to show you, I just have to figure out which palette to use. I have so many different eyeshadows, singles, palettes. I don't know how the big YouTubers do it because they have 20 times what I do and I have difficulty choosing what to use even though I have discovered some favorites. Two of those favorites are my Roman quads. Now I've got 52 degrees, 52 degrees and 1111. Look how beautiful those things are. They're gorgeous. I'm going to use the 52 degrees today because they're cool toned and I'm going to start with this color. Now these work better with fingers but we know how I feel about that. And I think it would be very difficult for me to use my finger to do a crease. I mean, look at, look at how much more I get with my finger. Thank goodness for backup batteries. When I first started my channel, I didn't have a backup battery. I would have to wait for two hours, waiting and waiting and waiting. All right, so the last color I'm trying to emulsify, look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. I don't know if I'll be able to, no. See, that's the problem with my fat fingers. But, at least I've managed to emulsify it a bit. I'm gonna stop there because otherwise I'm gonna make a mess of it because that's what I do if you guys can get your hands on these Rowan quads I got one I believe it was glam bought and the other one through boxycharm I, actually it was 
the last thing I purchased from BoxyCharm as a subscriber. <laughs> yeah, it really was. That's funny. And I love the tight lining. Who the bleep am I? Rowan. Get them. Cool is 52 degrees. 1111 is warm. I don't know what they have now. They, they, because I try not to look because I'm going to go, I don't want it. <laughs> and they come in a little pouch. I've got only one little pouch, but that's okay. Um, if there was ever a disaster in this house and I lost all my makeup, I would buy Rowan first. Now, I do have a question for you. My question is, I'm going to do some Chantecaille. Yeah, number one. Number one. Number one. Yeah, this is a favorite. This, I don't have a number two or number three. I, no, I have one. If I could only buy one mascara ever, this would be it. Okay, my question. I have a limited amount of funds, and I have put in a basket in ColourPop, Rose Ink, um, Moira. I wanted to do Chanel, but the one thing I really, really wanted from Chanel, they are out of my color, which is light medium. What else do I have? I'm probably forgetting stuff and I'm losing my tight lining. Uh, I'm forgetting something. I do have one in BoxyCharm, but I'm so pissed off with BoxyCharm right now because my August order, which was from the first week of August, the first week of August, I think it was August 7th, um, has not been picked to be shipped yet. One box. And the other box has a shipping label but has not been sent to DHL and I've gotten in touch with them twice and the matter has not been rectified and all I get is we're in the process of changing warehouses blah 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 I get it there's issues fix it you see my account you see what needs to be picked go pick it yourself I've worked in customer service there's no excuse. Shouldn't have had to get in touch with them again. They gave me the first time they said, okay, here's a $6 coupon that you need to use by September 30th. No. No, you don't give me two, three weeks to use a coupon. That's not right. And then they gave me another $6 coupon. The hell's the point if they're not going to ever ship what I need? So I'm... <laughs> I'm in the process of trying to remember what else I've got open. Oh, Yes Style. Yes Style. I've got stuff in there. Um, and of course Sephora. <laughs> that goes without saying. I am leaning towards ColourPop for one because they've got the Harry Potter collection. I've only put three things from the Harry Potter collection in there. Uh, the palette a balm and a highlighter and what else uh rose ink if i could get the foundation from chanel i think that would be it but of course not like medium's not available why would it be what else did i have in my chanel basket i had a pot shadow and a liquid shadow because I don't have enough singles, it would seem. <laughs> this is my Natasha Denona. Oh, which I love. Yeah. Yeah. This is, uh, yeah. And this is the perfect color because it, it, it melds into many colors. So if I could get another one of this, Suburbia, and a red. Oh. 
but I don't remember how much they are. I love it. Okay, number one lipstick. Maybe not the number one color, but the number one lipstick. Yeah, I love it. Oh, I can tell you a number one lip gloss. I can definitely tell you that. Color two. I love this color. Yeah, this, this, this would be, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have too much crap. I am looking at three drawers of singles. Three drawers. I, just, just. <laughs> and yes, I got it from BoxyCharm. It's not uh, warmed up enough. It's even got a little mirror. And look at that. And I need to get my hands on the new colors from Charlotte Tilbury from the Eyes to Mesmerize. Speaking of which, look at that. Look at that shine. That's Luxaza. This is a beautiful, beautiful topper. I don't know how it'll translate on camera, but believe it or not, there is something there. Do you see the shine on that? One more, one more, one more. <laughs> this purpley taupe. Look at that. Look at the duochrome effect of that. Isn't that absolutely fantastic? Okay, yeah. I'm having trouble. I have a lot of favorites. I have a, I, I need to knit, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, never tried it yet. <laughs> Don't breathe it in. The mister is so fine. It helps if it's actually pointed at your face. <laughs> It is so fine. My face does not feel wet. I don't know if it looks wet on camera, but right now it does not feel wet. And I shall see what it looks like after I finish with the video, but all I know is that I look snatch. <laughs> no, I'm beautiful. I am very beautiful. Let me know if I should get rose ink, I still have to look at Charlotte Tilbury. I am just a glutton for punishment. <laughs> Let me know what you think. <laughs> oh, thank you everybody once again for coming to listen to me babble about this, that, and nothing. <laughs> Please leave me a comment, like my video, and subscribe to my channel. A bientôt.